Early on the morning of Wednesday, the 2nd of December, 2009, we began the final stage of the Latole School Water Project. We would install the water pump three months after we started our fundraising efforts. The day began with us loading the pipes and pump to take to the Tole School. Driving the four kilometers from the farm to the school, we realized the African sun was not going to be kind. The project engineer, Willem Duval, was concerned that the rain would delay the installation of the piping because the cement slab needed three days to dry. He completed the cement slab as soon as a few dry days were predicted. After removing the protective cover on the well, Willem checked to make sure that the pump would fit on the bolts he had already placed in the cement. Along with the engineering crew, we set up a tripod. The purpose of this tripod was to help stabilize the pipes with a steel cable as they were lowered into the well. Our biggest worry was the 60 meters of pipe and the cylinder falling to the bottom of the well. During the day, children would come closer to see the progress. The first step was to attach the base cylinder to the first pipe and start dropping it into the well. At first, it did not seem difficult, but as the day progressed, we realized that this project required a lot of physical labor. While dropping the piping into the well, we had to ensure it did not bounce off the sides of the shaft. This could create instability in the whole structure and lead it to collapse into the well. Besides being physically draining, we needed to be precise with connecting the 5 meter pipes to one another. The bolts connecting the pipes needed to be tight and kept straight. We were so focused on getting the job done that we found ourselves working side by side without talking much. And remember Jenny, we were hot and tired. By the time the cylinder was attached to all 60 meters of piping, the sun was setting. It was important that we fit the pump to the pipe before dark. We kept working as we saw dark clouds circling the sky. Thunder and lightning in this area is very dangerous. However, leaving pipes attached to the tripod overnight would make us run the risk of it all collapsing into the well. It was time to connect the pump to the pipes inside the well. This was a delicate stage of the project and we decided to let the professionals take charge. A large cable was attached to the pump as it was lowered onto the cement slab. This is where precise engineering and the earlier fitting proved invaluable. Once Villa made final adjustments to the pump, it was time to remove the tripod.
We thought the last part of construction was messy. We were told to lubricate the gears of the pump before the top was set in place. People from nearby homes came closer once we started to turn the handles of the pump. It was the most amazing feeling, hearing the laughter and seeing the smiles on their faces as water started pouring from the spout. Now, these kids had water, something most of us take for granted. <laughs> the following morning, we hosted the official opening of the pump. Students waited anxiously as we fine-tuned the handles on the pump. Together we witnessed water pouring from the pump and joy erupted from the gathered crowd. With big smiles, they all joined in taking turns to pump and taste the water. People were overjoyed. <laughs> On behalf of Littore Primary School, Cecilia and Jenny want to thank you so much for the water and everything. We just hope in future we'll bring more projects to us. We wish you to thank you so much. We didn't know we could have water here. It has been an on. We are wishing for this one, but at last it gave us. May the Lord bless you for what you do. Thank you so much. Yes, drag hard. Willem created an area where we put our names, handprints, and date into the cement to commemorate this event. We want to thank all the adults and children who supported this project. The children of Latole School now, too, have access to clean, safe drinking water.